Hi, today I will talk about remote control transmitter Flysky FSI6X, which I think is the best value for the money. Let me show you the box. Okay. Uh, it is built of decent quality. It has 10 channels and many features. And you can get it from Amazon for around 80 to 90 euros. So let's get started. First, let me highlight the fact that there is an older model available on the market and it is sold uh, under the model name FSI6. So without letter X, which uh, only comes with six channels. Uh, you can buy this model also with uh, six or ten channels. And I think that uh, the price difference uh, is about 10 euros and it is good value for the money. I've connected one small servo motor that I use for throttling the engine. And now I will show you two features from this transmitter that I use on my uh, lawnmower. So when you connect uh, engine's carburetor to the servo motor, you have two issues. First one is the direction that servo motor moves. And another one is the step that the ser servo motor uh, should move when you uh, hit the full or the zero throttle. We can solve this by uh, these two options. First one is that we can reverse our servo motor. Channel three, okay. So now when I change or when I reverse the servo motor, you can see that it changes the direction. And another feature is that we can send, we can set endpoints. Go to, oops, to third channel. And here we can set, you can see when the percentage is going down, also the servo motor changes the position. Let's set about around 30%. And for the full throttle, let me also change this to 30%. All right. So now you can see that the step of servo motor is very short comparing to before. Okay, you can just let me cancel that. And now we have the full step. Okay. And now let me show you the second feature, which is must have. I have connected one microcontroller with the motor driver and with the motor itself. Uh, we have forward and backward direction. And now let's have a look what happens if, if remote control transmitter loses power. You can see that the motor is constant, constantly spinning. So, to be able to resolve this issue, the remote control transmitter uh, has one feature that is called failsafe. Let's take a look. Setup, system. In this case, we go to 
receiver setup, failsafe, and we have connected our motor on channel 2. Now you can see that the failsafe is off. Let's change that. Let's put it to on. Okay. And now you can see that the channel 2 is set to 0%. Uh, that means that the joystick is in center position in the case of fail. Let's save our setting. And let's make a test, our test again. Okay. Turn off the Now you can see that our motor stopped. I think this is the most important safety feature of a remote control lawnmower. Uh, you can stop the motors if something uh, goes wrong. You can also stop the gasoline engine if you uh, connect it by some sort of relay and so on. The rest is up to you. And finally, a word about the batteries. If you move your grass every week or 14 days, I recommend rechargeable batteries instead of conventional one, because you will use two packs of four batteries per season. These rechargeable batteries are Leon type and have declared voltage of 1.5 volt instead of 1.2 volt, like other rechargeable batteries. And you can use them everywhere 1.5 volt is required. They have USB-C connector. And USB-C cable is also included in the package. So you don't need a dedicated charger. All right, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please support my channel by hitting the like and subscribe button and see you next time. Bye.